Hi, John Warner here. Today is Monday the uh, 10th of October 2016. <coughs> Just to catch up what happened on the weekend, I went down to Whakatane uh, to Matatua Marae uh, where there was a hui for the Whakameninga and treaty claims and other various matters with uh, um, Matatua Marae Hapu, uh, Tuhoi, um, Ngāpui in particular had a, a group go down of uh, Taumata um, and from Maniapoto, Tainui, Ngāti Pro, and um, I think there was Arawa there too representing. Okay, I didn't get a chance to speak because I had another hui on in Omaio on the um, new um, kiwi fruit farm in avocados, beehives, on the O Mayo 39 block. That's one of the owners and one of the owners there, um, out of several blocks. But um, in particular, that one was um, um, quite something that I've never been to before with Te Tumutumu Pairoa. Um, trust uh, in with uh, OPEC, uh, the horticultural people, and the um, owners who put up the funding for that project. So I'm wanting to do similar things there to Port Awanui at the East Cape of Ruatoru on the land blocks there waiting for the um, Maryland Court and Te Tumutumu Pairoa to um, give us uh, an indication of who's getting the lease for the heading a A12 and heading a A10 blocks that I'm interested in and the heading a A8 block. So we'll see where that um, comes out to. I'll ring them up and find out. Uh, so that's that part of the meeting I went to in the same day, Saturday the 8th of October 2016. I took Jamie with me, uh, Jamie and Marie Patrick Stewart. Uh, we're involved with the Moai Tidal Turbine projects and also land development and other matters various on 68 Facebook sites, um, 910 about that much um, YouTube videos and over 3,000 um, followers on Twitter, mostly business people. So we're going into a corporate sense on the land and I'm hoping that we can establish her and her family uh, on some piece of land in Whakatane or the Bay of Plenty area um, to help to run our business. I have full faith in her and what we've been doing online um, is very crucial to any decision making I make with the, um, this flag, the Confederation of Chiefs flag that the hui in Whakatane was about, Whakameninga, o ngā hapu o Aotearoa, uh, Whakaputanga flag. Uh, that is part of the discussions of um, Ngāpui um, visit as a ropu down to um, Matatua Marae, beautiful marae inside. I really loved it, the atmosphere, and the taumata there. Some of them I know from school, in high school in Whakatane. Um, now, at this uh, point in time, from that year of eight, 1968, thereabouts, when I was at the high school at David Hogg Hostel on Penamore Street, 19, I think it is, Penamore Street. So that's just a bit of throwback to the um, meeting that went on there. I'll go on to that next um, in conjunction with our land use under this flag sovereign authority uh, to make uh, determinations for the hapu directly, whereas on the Tumutumu Pairo side they're doing a great job on that um, uh, farm with investors um, and the local um, hapu um, Philip Albert, I was pleased to meet him and his wife, Jane, I think it is, 
Um, so I've got their contacts to keep in touch with their progress on the um, commercial operation of the uh, kiwi fruit. So the next visit I go down there with Jamie, uh, it should be two years later when it should be um, growing for production. So we're coming up with our tidal energy projects which is on a scale um, big on the open seas uh, for harnessing energy of the tide, not the way of the tide. And so that comes into discussions of commerce under this commercial trading bank flag, sovereign authority of King William IV, 1835. Uh, and that discussion uh, went on with the um, uh, meeting um, uh, in Whakatane um, with the various chiefs. I put it on video, you can see the video there of the Marae and for that I put that for the um, Confederation itself uh, members uh, who are going up on the 28th, maybe the 26th, 27th and 28th of October 2016 this year, 182 years of celebrating this flag to Britain, UK, Navy, um, military and Westminster Parliament government. Um, in contract, it is a contract, private contract with us, the Hapu chiefs. And those who are carrying those documents uh, of commercial um, um, business operations that this flag was supposed to be for in, in the uh, trade between Britain and Aote New Zealand. That was what its chief um, um, purpose uh, and reasoning of authority of the King of the Sea, uh, protection of the British military with our trade between Britain and Aote New Zealand. That's it. That's what its purpose was for, to protect us against pirates on high seas and pirates on the land and pirates upsetting our trade and that's the point where we are at presently. Uh, on my next presentation I will be doing on Otawa Marae in Hokianga next week. I've just been talking to Willie Pater. He's um, with um, the Taumata or Ngāpui uh, for the um, Whakaminia um, tribes or um, Hapu chiefs who are um, form a Tomata group amongst Ngāpui. So I'm going there to put the preparation together for the 28th of October 2016 at 5am in the morning on the Waitangi Marae Treaty Grounds and um, we're going to organise that uh, with the um, Waitangi National Trust Board uh, cultural manager um, Maury Rapana. I'm just about to ring him up shortly and also um, with the um, um, New Zealand First or the chairman of the Waitangi Tr National Trust um, Ita Paraoni. I'm hoping to get a call through to him uh, soon, shortly. Uh, in saying that we are setting up uh, the marae again after we went into that marae on the 15th of April this year 2016 at 5 o'clock in the morning to open that marae for our commercial trading business through the world in 250 countries that we're advertising presently under this jurisdiction of Admiralty, King of the Sea, King of the Land Land Laws of England, 1832-1837 acts applies to this flag in that marae on that date, 15th of April. That was leading on from the 10th of April, 2016-1834 arrival of the British settlers, Navy into Russell or Kororareka, Russell, Bay of Islands settlement village. That's where they first came in in 1834 this flag started off with the um, uh, Confederation of Tribes or the Whakamininga starting 
at Ngāri Tingari uh, Bay on the river there now, where all the chiefs met um, to form a um, group of tribes, a hapu, to make a declaration of independence to the King of Eng England then, King William IV. So that's where they started off to counter the arrival, predetermined arrival of the British first instance on the 10th of April 2016. That's why I want the Navy, I'm ringing the Navy up, John Martin. Uh, John Martin is the um, uh, Rear Admiral, Chief of Navy. Um, I'm bringing him up to attend that historic 182-year event in this land, native land, New Zealand. Okay, so they got here in that first instant, first stepping onto this land legally through a King of England flag. Not the Queen, I'm talking about the King, direct to Westminster Parliament, where I'm going with this flag to raise it after we raise it on King William the Fourth Admiralty ship on the treaty grounds. Um, the flag staff just next to the Marae, which is the King's Bench Court. Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, where we open the business up inside that Fare Marae on the 15th of October, uh, 15th of April 2016, to en enforce our laws okay, of Moai Crown, King William Trust, and our corporate company under this flag, registered in the company's house, London, UK, called Moai Powerhouse Group Limited. Limited. So that's a share company for the Tidal Energy Project that uh, we have Matt Taylor. He's the secretary of that um, company there registered to communicate with um, the tax department and communicate with government in readiness with our Maui King William party that he's, you'll see it online on the Facebook. We have a site for that and that's running under his SOS party which is registered in Brighton, UK, England, in Westminster Parliament. So we're hooking on to that party with our party, Integral. Uh, Matt Taylor, this one's for you. Uh, thank you for accepting the position of Secretary on the company's office now. You'll see your name there and people to see that we're real between you and us under this flag of jurisdiction of a King of England, UK. Not the Queen, the King of England. The Queen has abandoned ship. She's abandoned the ship even though she's physically living in England. She has gone to the EU Parliament now in conflict of our contract here. It's jeopardised our contract. John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, is the Iwi Maori Authority title holder under Queen Elizabeth II. Monarch, sovereign, is not there. It's gone and they have no monarch, sovereign, authority in this country. When I had my court hearing in the Auckland District Court, I brought that up as soon as they took me from prison into the Auckland District Court in front of Judge um, Fraser, Grant Fraser, and he dismissed my case because I mentioned to him that he has no queen above his head, no jurisdiction of authority over what I have with my King William here and his coat of arms here, his coat of arms here and his Hanover coat of arms here. Okay, so I've got his flags here and our flags here and our seal of King uh, of Maui here. So this is the shirt that Natalie Flowerdew Brown CIB detective 
removed from me illegally in this house and took as evidence against me. Now, she lost that case against me and the whole police force lost the case because her documents were fraudulent. And she had no evidence in the court and never appeared under a subpoena from my barrister, Shannon Withers, who also was supporting what was going on with those documents instead of me. I gave him strict instructions because he was getting paid from my account birth certificate. Now, that is what we're talking about with this flag and they're trading their business as the Auckland District Court Company versus Moai Crown King William Trust and the company in England, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited, is contesting the court's name, company name and the person who signed Hawani Wanoa across from a contract between me and that person acting under those documents of the police, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, creation. She created the documents without seal, without the seal of the court, without the seal of the Queen, without the seal of Parliament here in New Zealand, without the seal of Westminster, England, without any seals, just the police logo. You see, so that's what I'm talking about on the Marae with this flag. Everything is commerce of what I say in business, right? We're starting up our business on a clean slate, mortgage-free, versus John Key and his Queen assumed authority of sovereignty in his government parliament in Wellington, New Zealand. Okay, so he's up against the King, the King here, King William, this photo of King William, me his surrogate to talk for him in his place, just the same as Cornwallis, Captain Cornwallis Simon came to New Zealand to the Manukau Harbour under instructions from King William's the fourth government in Westminster and he used his authority as a surrogate king when he stepped on the land here with a real estate document paper that said Manukau Land Company, Scotland, real estate company, sold the lands here in Auckland, sold the Manukau tribal hapu's lands. Those are the titles I'm holding to account on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. I'm saying I'm tying that land and the fraudulent land transfer under the Land Transfer Act 1952 section 41 and 41A and the Crimes Act 1961 and Crimes Act 1951 bundled up in these land deals that's coming up against the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court and our Taumata Komatua Upper House of our own parliament. Okay, so they, they have their own structures of government here um, to address inside that marae and enforce whatever law they want to use. We went through this in the Matatu Marae in Whakatane on Saturday, the 8th of October 2016. I saw half of it, I videoed some of it, but it's leading to over 20 years of discussions I've had on Waitangi Marae and to Te Marae in Waitangi and Chief Kingi Tauru, but at the present time it's Ohepa, Epiha who's steering uh, this um, Taumata uh, Komatua uh, uh, group alliance in Napui to go together as a group to handle the consent side of the equation and we, the corporate sense of the word, law, making authority, and also the company, 
jurisdictions under this flag. We are the physical ones who are doing the work, and the Komatua are the ones who give us the authority to do that work. And we report back to the Komatua, Tomata, of the collective of tribes under this flag to tell them what we're going to do with the land. Okay? So I just want to make that clear. I'll be presenting this at Atawa Marae, Otawa Marae, in Hokianna next week. I don't know what the date is or what the time is, but Willie will let me know, Willie Peita, the Tomata uh, chief there of that Marae. And all their meetings have been held there for the Whakameninga and the Whakaputanga flag. Um, so all the Tomatas from the other 38 Marais have been congregating there and talking about this very issue. Uh, so um, uh, I just want to add uh, that the Navy is crucial um, cog in this um, whole um, historic uh, event that we need them to be there to witness what is about to happen with us using this flag for so many years, 182 years, we're starting to use it now for our own trade. This, this property belongs to us. The ship of Admiralty mast on the treaty grounds and the authority of the, um, the carvings inside that marae belongs to us, the Hapu. All that authority inside the walls of that marae and its teko teko and um, historic um, legacy belongs to us. It is a contract of that to Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament. And the flagstaff pole outside the marae, which is the court, you've got the court there, and the flagstaff and the flag on the top is the authority founding documents of doctrines of title to Aotea New Zealand in the first place. 1834, 10th of April, that's when the British came and entered our land and stepped on it. And this flag was the flag that started off the design work at Tengairi uh, Riverhead under the Pohutukawa tree. And so that story has already been embedded into the history of Ngāpui um, um, Confederation Chiefs. The eight tribes of the Ngāpui Chiefs I have that history to go along with the flag. And so that 1834 contract, as soon as the Navy stepped on the ground proclaiming that they arrived safely without incident, met up with the chiefs and the chiefs gave them notice that they are writing to the king to tell them to protect us from um, invaders of our lands or pirates. It is a pirate flag built for pirates. Okay, it was put together for pirates to keep them out of the four corners of the earth where we travel with our ships. We're about to get ships and airships very soon under this flag. 250 countries we're going into. So with the event of 1834, 10th of April, historically set on the record, this is on the record now, on this video, that I'm saying to the world, inside that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, that's the highest court in the world right there. That is the monarch sovereign authority Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth have gone under the authority of a King of England. It can only come from a King of England of travelling around the world, of free passage through the world, this flag gives us. And it allows British citizens to come here and live with us, with our sovereignty given to them to be here under this flag. This flag allows us to enforce our own sovereignty over the immigrant settlers in this country. From that day, no one else enters into this private contract 
between us and Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament, Navy, military, protectorate. Okay, so when Natalie Flower Du Brown arrested me, she brought her whole bundle of papers in that she fashioned and arrested me with them. That was a contract. She put me in a contract with her. I'm taking her to the court. Well, I've already enforced the law on her from this King's Bench Court. I'm the judge in that case and the sheriff. This is the sheriff and this is the sheriff's authority, eight point star. Okay? So I'm acting in this capacity to do all the court hearings online from that Marae authority documentation that authenticates all the documents I put together online, videos, Twitter, Google, YouTube, everything is authorised, authenticated through this flag from that King's Bench Court. I'm here as equal in authority to Captain William Cornwallis Simon who arrived here under the, with the Manukau Land Company real estate title to Auckland, the new Auckland, Cornwallis, Huya, at the Manukau Heads. Okay, that's how Auckland started. I'm just telling you a graphic story of the Manukau titles which I hold here. I'm holding the Manukau land titles here and also the Ututonga titles in Waitangi. Okay, those are contract papers and they are land title papers to Britain, UK. There is no one else proficient enough to complete that task and talk about it. You can't talk about commerce, banks and land title jurisdictions without knowing enough about what the flag is meant for. So to all those people who are going up on the 28th of October 2016, <clears throat> they have every right to talk to this flag from the Mokapuna um, uh, woman, spiritual side, uh, looking after their concerns about the hapu, and also the rangatira chiefs, men talking about commerce and their documents. So I'm interested in doing the commercial side of banks and the pound note currency against this flag of jurisdiction of the sea and the king of the sea, the king of the royal revenue, the king's royal revenue from the king's bench court, Watangi Marae. King's Bench Court, okay? So I'm more or less speaking as the creditor, sheriff, authority, authenticated when the chiefs stepped into Waitangi Marae on the 15th of April 2016 this year. In particular, King Itauroa. Uh, he's down the King Edward line, so that's to Queen Victoria line. So he has, has every right to speak under that authority of Queen Victoria coming underneath this flag as the niece of King William IV, where I come in as a legal advocate and advisor on how that works, how the Queen's on this side in commerce works against the King and his commerce laws. King's laws, Queen's laws. Queen gone, King's still here in authority. Queen gets her authority from King. King gets his authority from Westminster Parliament. Maui gets his authority from God, the Creator, the Maui statue with the head on his head. Okay? he got no king's authority here with his crown on the top. That's King William the Fourth crown. <clears throat> and the eight-point star, that one point is 
supposed to be Queen Victoria is defaulted back to King William the Fourth from Queen Elizabeth. She's gone and taken her crown away, which wasn't authorised anyway. She had no authority of a coronation. Only Queen Victoria and King William the Fourth had coronations um, that were recognised in Westminster. The other seven star points are the seven wakas in the Pacific Islands. So we are really talking for the Maui Hapu native and the natives of all the Pacific Islands in this eight-point star. <clears throat> the eight-point star, on the other hand, that's from our native side in the Pacific. The other eight points of the star is the eight kings that King William IV comes under. Okay? <clears throat> King George the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and King William the fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the first. That's the eight points that I'm talking about here. And the eight points on this star is the same eight kings. But in the corner, you've got one big cross and one little cross. The big cross is for the eight points star here, and the smaller cross is for the four kings. King George the third the King of America, uh, founding, and the father of King George IV, and King Ernest Augustus I, and King William IV. There, those are the four kings to this cross in the corner, and the four points, four corner of the earth, the four stars sitting in the corner, means the whole world. North, east, south, west, jurisdiction, of this eight-point star, free passage through the world. Okay, so that's the commercial side. I'm explaining here clearly to you people in the world watching who we are and where we're going to. We have the protection of the British military. They're obligated under contract to us that they have to hold account the Queen's side who have defrauded the public of New Zealand and the world for that matter through Hillary Clinton and Obama and <clears throat> the rest of what's happening online um, with the, the, the corruption there is John Key's holding the same corruption. Everything in America is under the Queen Elizabeth. Um, fraud laws that have created all the havoc on that side and the King, that's full of debt mortgage mortgage fraud on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, comes out of this lot. TPPA, all everything you can throw at it. And on this side, the king, the king and the hapu, native, and of the world. Okay? All the indigenous people of the world will follow suit as soon as we take the Tomata and the rest of the confederation into that party. We've already opened it up for business on the 15th of, of April this year and we've enforced the laws of Maui Crown King William Trust and the Acts of Westminster 1832 1837 applies from the 15th of April 2016. All the documents are put together have gone through and been legal. The flag was legal on that day to operate business of Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited UK London. Okay, so that's what the purpose of opening that Marae for. I'm just about to ring um, Peter Peroni. Um, I'll ring Mori Rapana first and ask for the Marae again. I've written to him. I've written to Peter Peroni. I haven't got an answer back yet. <clears throat> Peter Prona being the chairman of the Waitangi Marae National Trust, Waitangi National Trust Limited Company, and uh, Murray uh, Rapana is the cultural manager. He's the person who opens the gate to let us in at five o'clock in the morning on the 28th of October 2016, Declaration of Independence Day, 1835, and uh, John Martin. Uh, the Admiral, Q 
chief of navy, uh, ring him up, or I uh, ring um, John Harrison. Um, he's in the navy as well, so I'll give John Harrison ring first. I think I'll try that one first. Here goes. I'm going to ring them one by one. Okay. I'll, I'll ring. I'll ring Kingy first. No, I'll ring John Harrison first. Here he goes. Um, right here. There he is. Yes, uh, John, it's uh, John Wanoa here in Auckland. I was down at the Matatu meeting um, in uh, Pakatane on the 8th of Saturday um, with um, my friend Willie Pater, and he told me to give you a ring uh, to see if you can attend uh, the 28th of October celebration of 182 years of the Confederation on the Waitangi Treaty Grounds in the Waitangi Marae. Uh, so I'm arranging that again. We did this on the 15th of um, April this year uh, to mark the occasion as the 10th of April on Kororā Reka uh, with the flag there. So now we're having a um, combined um, historic time from then, the 10th of uh, April 1834 to the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag that we're putting on the flag staff on the treaty grounds as a sign of our partnership with the British uh, Navy and British military um, occasion. So um, I'm um, one of the uh, leading uh, Confederation um, uh, document uh, people for a long time now, a few years, with the uh, Whakamininga, uh, and I'm Ngāti Pro, but I uh, do all this in Auckland for over 20 years. And so, uh, give me a call, and if you can attend, or, or talk to John Martin, because I wrote to him uh, to come um, with uh, one or two, or, or whoever from the Navy, to mark this occasion, the 182 years of this flag, uh, business flag, um, corporation, uh, trading flag to Britain. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to Otawa Marae next week and I'll be putting on a presentation there uh, about the whole um, event and our updated position on where to from now for the um, Whakamininga and the Hapu um, Confederation of Chiefs. Okay, I'm here for the Confederation as a customary legal advocate, native, um, then assessor, and uh, speaking for King William IV as well. Uh, okay, thank you very much. You got my number on this phone 020 Thank you, uh, John. Bye for now. There, that's John Harrison. He's from the Navy. I don't know what position he's in, but he's fairly well up the ladder. And Willie has told me to give him a call because he's been having a talk with Willie about the issues on the Marais with the Taumata, Komatua, um Collective. So now I'll ring, um, who's next? Peter Peroni from the, um, Waitangi National Trust Committee, as he's the chairman of, and I will give them a ring, I think, I'll give them a ring in Wellington. There he goes.
Look, could I speak to Peter Peroni, please? Has he got a mobile as well? Thank you. Hello, it's John Wanara here from Auckland. I want to talk to Peter Paraoni um, for the Waitangi Marae um, Confederation celebration on the 20th of October this year. Um, I sent him an email and I'm still waiting for a reply from him. So if you can prompt him to check his email to make sure he got it from me, John Wanara. And I'm speaking on behalf of the Confederation of Tribes and the Taumata, Komata of the Marais in Titi Marai and Otawa Marai in Ngāpui, and um, also the the um, events that we want to hold on the Waitangi Marai on that day to mark 182 years of British uh, Navy and New Zealand uh, Hapu chiefs um, at that time of 20th of October 1835. Okay, thank you very much. You got my number there, 020 I'd like to have a talk with him, please. Thank you. Bye. So that's Peter Peroni. I put a bit tick behind it. Peter Peroni, Peter Peroni. Okay. I rang at 12.17. Now I ring the National Trust and see if I can get him there. I just needed his mobile. I've got it somewhere, but I can't. Wait. 2644. Oh, you can't talk from a mobile. Okay, so on 0800, so I'll have to ring um, what's in the, oh, um, the advisor, senior command, oh that's John Martin, I'll have to ring 09 4 I'm calling the National Trust. Yes, could I speak to uh, Murray um, Rapana, please? And does he have a mobile? Thank you. 027 
2097. And do you have a, I'm John Wano here, I'm organising the Marae uh, for the 28th um, Confederation Chief of Tomato. Um, do you have uh, Peter Peroni's number? Because I wrote to him as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. John Wan Noah. Thank you. At least I got Maury's number. I, I've got it somewhere, but I can't find it. I'm terrible when it comes to office. Thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just down this, so I'll just put you through to his office. Thank you, thank you. Maury, it's uh, John Wanoi here speaking. Sure. Kia ora, kia ora. Did you get my email? Oh, I see. Oh, that's all right. Okay, I've been down to uh, Matatu and Marae with Ngāpui, and so we had a, a big hui there with all the other tribes, and I'm having another hui at Otawa Marae to uh, present things for the uh, 28th of October. So they've got a hui on the 26th, 27th, 28th, and uh, I'm in the middle of them as well uh, to advise this and that, and... Uh, but they generally know what they want to do now with uh, Matatu and uh, uh, all those tribes that turn up from everywhere there on Saturday. And uh, so we're hoping to have the Marae again at 5 in the morning to have the celebration of the 182 year. And yeah, the 28th at 5 in the morning. We're going to Tauranga Tera at 4 at the Popo and then we come across there. We only need it for the time again not too long before public opening. Um, so as long as I think uh, 7 at the latest, we should be finished by 6.30. Um, but it might be, it, uh, I don't know, the manning crowd or something, but that'll be leading over from Titi Marae. Okay, so it'll be, uh, it'll, I think it'll be something um, uh, good anyway. Okay, so that's all settled. I'm, I'm just waiting back on the Navy now. I'm hoping they come, but Willie's got somebody um, that's um, John Harrison uh, to uh, organise. I'm just um, ringing him up to uh, see if he can, or the Navy can come if John Martin's too busy. Because they should be there to represent the, the occasion to Britain. Yeah, that, that links up the 1834 Kororareka, links up what we did before to uh, um, to the same issues, but only with the collective now of all the hapus, and and especially I wanted to get Napui set first, uh, set the, the the platform, and then bring the rest in. All the rest knows uh, what, what what the score is uh, on not going there to muck around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good one. Thank you, Murray. Hi. Right. There you go. That's Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, set to go inside at 5 a.m. on the historic day of the 28th of October 2016. Exactly 182 years the British first landed on Aotearoa, there. On the 10th of April, 
1834. The British settlers under King William IV, Admiralty, Court Martial, Jurisdiction, landed on these lands, native lands, and settled in Kororadeka, Russell Bay of Islands. On Mikey Hill, this flag was risen from the Whakameninga tribes of Napoli. That started the commercial trading Bank of England flag of trade between Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament, the Navy Protectorate, the Navy, the British Military Protectorate of this flag for the British to abide by our own Native Chiefs Hapu sovereignty to allow the British to settle here with our sovereignty intact under King William IV monarch authority in England. Okay, so I'm happy that Murray has accepted. He has got the letter officially let ahead with these authorities as a surrogate King William IV authority jurisdiction to speak for King William the Fourth and the flag he gave us authority of his coat of arms and his flag here and the British flag and the Confederation flag and the Moai flag. Okay? Maui has always been the missing link. Maui is the spiritual link to the land with his own crown on his head in Dunedin, South Island, New Zealand. The settlers government here displaced a real Maui off Rapa Nui, East Island, and brought him here and stuck him on the land where all the Pākehās went, the white man, British settlers, down to the South Island from New Plymouth. Plymouth to England and Devonport in Auckland, New Zealand. Devon to Devon, England, King William IV, Plymouth, William Yard, the biggest navy in the world was right there with this authority. We have the right of free passage through the world from then on. This is the authority I have on our documents authenticated inside Waitangi Marae King Bench Court as being missing in action. Now, Maori has gracefully let Ngāpui tell its story. I'm only here to do a commercial bank power note trade business side of that contract. The Ngāpui chiefs, on the other hand, with King Itaurua on Titi Marae, Pohepa, Epiha from Matauri Bay and Tingai there, to link that history to Hokianga Otawa Marae with Willy Paita and all the other Whakamininga chiefs who know me too well to speak like this, to put their differences aside and bring all your corridor, your documents, your laws into that fight. Leave everything out, only come there with the commercial side, the spiritual side of the woman and the Taumata, upper house, 
legal authority to this flag. What I must say here at this stage is this flag is a legal title. It is not a native title. The Taumata, Komatua of this country and its Hapu chiefs holds the native title. They hold the original land title. Those are the documents I'm holding on to for Ngāpui and Utu Taonga. Those are the Williams family. Hare Utu Taonga, Williams. From the Confederation, before he died, gave me all of that. It belongs to their family. I'm here to speak for their family in their lost documentation of title. So, it means it was one document for the whole lot. Okay? And I've got the Manukau land titles here from the Scottish Land Company, Manukau Land Company, registered in Glasgow, Britain, UK. I've got that here. I can talk for that. I can talk for the other one on those land box at Waitangi. And <coughs> with Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, land is subjected to that Marae authority with this flag on its ship to Britain outside, up the top. Okay, you got that? Oh, Hepa and Willie and Kingy, speak nicely to each other and it'll work. Trust me. <clears throat> so now I'm going to ring um, the Navy and see if I can get um, John Martin Let's to ring the Navy. I think I've got the right number here. I'll try. I just not to, need to get them and that wraps it up. And then ring Kingy. Yes, uh, look, could I, it's John Wanoa here, could I speak to John Martin, please? We had more. Thank you. He's the um, Rear Admiral, Chief of Navy. Yes, just, just, just keep doing that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes, is that John Martin? No, uh, flight lieutenant. Flight lieutenant. Okay. Uh, look, um, it's John Wanoa here in Auckland speaking. I wrote him a letter, uh, email, and I'm organising with the Tomata uh, of Ngāpui and the uh, Confederation for 28th of October um, on the Waitangi Marae. I've got clearance to go in there on that day to celebrate the British Navy and, and the Hapu's 182 years. And I'm hoping that he can attend the, um, the uh, meeting with us on that uh, day, on the 28th, that's a Friday of October, on behalf of the chiefs. I'm speaking on behalf of Titi Marae, Kingi Taurua and the other um, Komatuas. I'm their, their um, uh, native um, um, legal advocate. Yeah. If if yeah, if if he can or someone from the navy to represent the navy to Britain, because it's it, it is 182 years from when the British arrived here with the navy, 
and we're, we're, we want the Navy to be there with the flag ceremony on the treaty grounds. I've got the treaty grounds, I'm organising the treaty grounds. We've got OK to go in with the cultural manager and the um, National Trust. So we, 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 we need the Navy to come and do its performance. I know it's early in the morning, 5 a.m., but that's when we always did this on the Titi Marae. Uh, and so it would be fitting for the, the government to have representation from the Navy here so that we can go down on record for that um, museum on um, um, renewing our relationship. Okay, what was your name again? Dixon. Okay, so can you... Yes. Yeah, and... Yeah, and I think with the, the Hakka people, the, the other cultural side of the Navy might be fitting as well. Um, because they've got all that, that um, uh, they, they can add that to it would be nice from the Navy. Um, so, uh, okay then, we'll, we'll check the email because I've got an official letter from us, a letterhead from us and the organisation of Titi Marae and Kingi Taurua and the rest of the chiefs there. We had a big meeting down at um, Matatu Marae on Saturday uh, with all those tribes there and I was there as well, so I'm watching all that through and um, we're having a meeting at Otawa Marae in Hokianga to prepare for that day. Okay. I'm leading all that lot on presentation of King William to Britain. Okay? okay. Yeah, 020 4085 1042. And my email is Moai, like the Moai statue. I'm, I'm the originator of Moai, Moai Energy at gmail.com. Yeah, I do a lot of work in the tidal turbines we're getting ready on the east coast to put into the sea, the big ones. That's that's what I do on my uh, on my sites, my websites and, and uh, um, on the economic side. I'm doing all the um, commercial trading uh, under this flag and everything else we want to do to enhance the economy here and to Britain and to Britain. I've got all that online to Britain. I've got things in Britain set up. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye. There, that's flight. Lieutenant. I don't know how to spell Lieutenant, so I'll just make Lieutenant. Dixon from the Royal New Zealand Navy in Devonport. So he's checking the mail, and I've got him to organise um, somebody to call me to get that sorted. We're looking good. Kingy and Pohipa and Willie Paper and all those chiefs at Matatua, we're looking good so far. So I'm hoping you're coming prepared. Best dress well-informed, and holding factual stuff that's really nice. I do my bit, you do your bit, and it'll all work out. Perfect. <coughs> so now, I ring Kingy to tell him the good news. And Jim Wickotu and Willie Pater. I ring them up to tell them the good news. It's been a wonderful day. Kingy, is John One or here? Ring me up straight away when you get a, a moment. Okay, I've got our Marae set and Waitangi and the Navy. So, uh, and I went to the Hui in uh, Matatu in Whakatane, that's a success. Um, and um, so give me a call and we'll catch up. Bye.
That's our mate. He's very blunt. He's a bit better than what he was in the old days. He says, tell me, shut up, sit down. Not anymore. Not anymore. He's nice now. And the other fellows are getting nicer all the time. All those ones that tell me, no, you can't speak. No, uh, your name is not down to speak. And the other one says, give John five minutes. No. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll have a, the whole place to myself at Otawa Marae to speak to Ngāpui, um, on the next week. I don't know what the date is yet. So Bryce Smith, uh, come bring all your stuff and do your thing. You just stick to what you do and that will be fine. And all the rest of them. Mokupuna, um, uh, woman, you do your thing. That's fine. You will have your say. That's fine. I open the door, you go in and do your thing. Ah, uh, who else? So, I ring the other chiefs. See, I'm ringing them up. I know King will ring me in a minute. My mate, Willie Pater. Hook you now. Come on, Willie. Give me a call. Good news. Okay? The Marae is set. The Navy looks good. And um, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, calling you fellas up to just let you know things are working pretty well. Okay? Right. That's the Marae, Waitangi Marae, 5 o'clock on the 28th of October this year. And I'm hoping that the Navy... The flight lieutenant, Dixon, I just got off the phone to him, will organise the Navy to turn up, even with the cultural group, the Haka people, and to come and mark the occasion. And if John Martin can't make it, then send a representative to put the flag up for us. Okay? See you later. Bye. And Jim Mukwikatu is the last one. Jim can help to officiate. Jim is an old stalwart of the Whakaminia, Matatua. Oh, he's on his horse, out in the paddock. That's okay, I can call him later. I just wanted to see if he'll come on and it was there. Appears that both of them are not there. Okay, that's fine. He'll see that I've run up and ring me back. So that's them covered. Uh, I think Kingy's still in the radio station. And so, I think I've been through the lot. And our video is still running. That's good. So people... Oh, who's this? Jim! Good news, Jim! Huh? Oh, you missed the call. Oh, you got there too late. Yeah. Um, no, I just got off the phone uh, to the Waitangi National Trust Committee and we got the marae again. For the 28th at 5 in the morning, the Navy, uh, the Navy 
I'm just waiting back on the Navy now to come and bring some representatives to help to put the flag up. Okay. What governor? We don't want the governor. Hey? Who? No, 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 the, the governor general don't need to come. With our business, there's nothing to do with them. It's the flag in us in Britain. The governor general is John Key's side. Um, so the, the Navy is, is set up, uh, they got my letter, and I'm just waiting for them to organize who's coming. So, um, 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 what else was there? So, that way you can be, uh, I told Willie that you can officiate some part of the, the procession of the flag at the pole. At the pole, you, you can do the krakis and everything, so that I can tell them, I'm going to Otawa, uh, Marae next uh, next week, um, and Willie's putting on uh, hui for me to present the whole lot. Okay, so that yeah, yeah, you bring them up to cover that side, and 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 make sure that all your laws go inside that fare, because we're going to force enforce them right there. And 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 your karakias should have in it. That we we have a, um, a partnership that that the flag will go up to stay up. Make make sure it goes up to stay up as the ruling authority here. Okay. So that's 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 so I can tell William the man up there of 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 that that part of it is covered. Oh, you know what to do. I I don't have to tell you anything. Okay. It's, it's going up the right way up. <laughs> Once it goes up the right way, we got no problems left. All we have to do is con convert. We convert everything back to us. Okay. Land a lot, right? Okay. Bye. There, that's Jim Wickortu. I can't think of anyone else better to do the job with the flag than him. He had uh, gumption and and and. Uh, the, the guts to put the flag up, up upside down on the treaty ground and up Kururaleka. So that was a distress call. I'm telling you, there ain't no distress now. Not when we are collective together. Okay? So this video is to all you hapu in this country, New Zealand, that the 28th of October 2016 is the most historic time on this planet Earth with this flag, the only king's flag in the world, the only commercial trading bank of England flag in the world, the only British military navy protectorate flag of business between the native hapu, Moai people here in New Zealand and the Pacific Islands of the eight point star, wakas, canoes, of all the islands in the Pacific Islands. The only flag that gives us authority to govern ourselves when we are ready. I'm saying this is the only flag that determines from Westminster Parliament the Acts of Parliament 1830 to 1837 applies inside Waitangi Marae Kings Court private contract. This is the only flag in the world that contains all of these legacies and jurisdictions of power and authority to rule through the world. Four corners of the earth, eight point star, blue, sea, sky, and the universe for that matter. Through the world. The only king's flag that carries the commercial bank bound out inside it. <coughs> the only king's flag and native hapu partnership contract in business to exert our power over these lands and any land for that matter with a queen has left 
a dirty trail around the world under the Queen Victoria monarch title under the original authority of her uncle King William IV back to King William III St. Patrick's Order Eight Point Star Westminster Parliament okay so the St. Patrick's Order the New World Order is this eight point star of St. Patrick's on this flag in the four north, east, south, west corners of the earth authority added up in a five pound note okay it's commercial the only king's commercial flag that allows us free passage through the world only us no one else only the natives he trusted to leave his authority to us my people have been duped since 1952 Queen Elizabeth the second took over from Queen Victoria title monarch sovereign parliament assumed sovereignty what I'm saying here is John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, has none of this. And he was trying to get rid of the Union Jack war flag to put up his Fern football flag when we've got football players who are mischievous to go inside a disabled toilet and do their business. This is the image of this side, the Queen's side, playing up in commerce. Queen's commerce is mortgage fraud documents, riddled with fraud, riddled with debt, riddled with evil spirits. On this side, the King and the Moai Crown Authority corporations, commercial contracts are clean cut. They have no debts and no bad image. We have no bad image to trade brand new. So what I'm saying to this video and the people watching through the world and including Matt Taylor, he's leading our Moai King William Party in Britain, UK <clears throat> and is the secretary of our commercial contract business there to us here. That business is registered in the company's house, London, UK called Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited. It's got two limiteds on the end for a reason. That came from the company's office. Mistake or call it what you want, but that's how it came out. <clears throat> Any case, he is in charge of looking after the corporate side of business till I get there. We are raising this flag on the Waitangi Treaty Grounds on the mast of the ship of Admiralty of King William IV direct to England. Contract, private contract, none of anyone's business. And when we get it up here, I'm going to Westminster Parliament to raise it up as a trading nation partner, legal, legitimate contract, still 182 years old on the 28th. Shortly thereafter, I will be going to Westminster and to Devon, Port, in Plymouth, to raise the flag next to his memorial statue, William Yard, Navy Yard, where all the immigrants left to go around the world and come to New Zealand, Australia, <coughs> and the Pacific Islands. Okay, so I made myself clear. 
I think the battery is running low on the video. I see the red light going, but it's still running. I hope so, because I don't want to talk to nothing. Um, and I'm happy that we've got this far. I'm just waiting for the phone to ring from Kingy to tell him the good news. So I'm just alerting the, the main chiefs who I deal with just to make sure they get the message well beforehand. I'm just ringing Kingy again. Kingy! John, John here. Yeah, yeah I, I went down to Matatua yeah. and uh, the, the hui's all, all good. Uh, that, was, that was on Saturday. And so um, I'm having another hui at Otawa Marae next week yeah. to prepare for the, the, the Waitangi Marae at 5 o'clock in the morning. At 5 o'clock in the morning on, on the 28th. So I just got off the phone to Maori uh, Rafana uh, at the uh, Waitangi National Trust and they've okayed me to get the marae again, okay? They've okay. I've got the, the, the authority to, to go in the marae on the morning, on the 28th, at 5 in the morning, okay? He's, he's the cultural manager of opening, he's the one that opens the gate, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting on Peter Paroni to, to call me. I've sent him a letter as well, an official letter. I've sent Mari an official letter. I've sent the Navy an official letter. I'm just waiting back on the Navy. I just got off the phone to them. And so um, um, they're going to see if John Martin can come. I, I, I said make sure the Navy is there to, to, to honour their part of the British side of this flag raising. With the flag raising? Yeah. So. Um, those ones down at, at Matatua, they got the message now, they've, they've gotten behind going on that day, right? Yeah. So no one's going to argue with each other what's what. We're going in there to enforce our law, put the flag up, and it stays up. It's never, ever going to come down. That's the end of John Key, mate. Okay? So uh, what I want to do here is not to let them overstep you. We've still got our, our thing between me and you to speak for that land. Only you can do that, not the other, not Kohepa and them. Uh, I think Willie and them, um, I've told them, you do what you do, but don't let the Taumata tell the Marae what to do. So it's your Marae, it's your contract. <laughs> it's your, yeah, that's your land to talk for your land on, and with that ship on your land, not their ship. And uh, they, they don't know this part of the, the, the documents, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so I've got your name to the documents as the final call to Britain. Okay. So when that flag goes up, it's time for me to go to Britain. And you might be having to go there as well, but I'd best to go there first to set it up. Yeah. And then you come there to officiate that end. I, d I didn't need anybody else, I just needed you from that marae. So what happens is you're really taking over the marae ownership title and I'm putting the documents of title together of the Ututonga so that you can sign it off. Back to the Ngāti Kawa, Ngāti Rahiri and, and, and the rest of what you, you know what you got to do. But so long as um, uh, Hohepa or anybody else for that matter doesn't override your authority to speak for that marae on that land, okay? Yeah, yeah, he was there. He, he was leading the, the, the Ngāpui uh, uh, Rupu there. And um, he got a surprise when I turned up because Willie told me to, to go there. I thought, oh, bugger, I better go and, and, and see, uh, see the talk. And um, so, but they know now, um, you know, don't talk out of line. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so they know, they know, um, uh, they know to prepare for what's coming, because they could not go and organise that marae to go in there. I will organise it for you to speak and for them to help to raise the flag. So, so Jim Week or two is going to uh, do all the krakia for the flag outside, 
at five in the morning. We go to Tauranga Tera to the Popo at four on, on the 28th. Hey, uh, and then over to five o'clock on the other side, we got it till seven or, or any time to, to go right through the position. I told the Navy, Flight Lieutenant Dixon, I told him to, to, to see if he can get the cultural group there to come over to do their haka um, um, on, on the flag, right? But at, at this stage, they won't, they won't know what we know more than what they do that the flag is going up this day. So long as their hands put it up, so long as their hands put it up, raise it, that's the job done. And then I told Jim Wiku to, to make sure in his karaki is that the flag goes up this day up, it's never going to come down. All right? So um, the marae, I don't know what day um, the marae is going to be open at Titi. You let me know so that I can have some time to present. Oh, good, because I'll come up and, and with Jamie and I'm going to do a presentation on the full account of everything and the titles um, that, uh, that 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 uh, Ngāpui should know about how how all the commerce work. I'm there for the commerce side of the flag, and and to, to speak for the king in England. Okay. Okay, cool. See ya. Uh, not yet. Not yet, but I think she's all right um, from the time I was out there at the, at the, at the, uh, Mangare to see her. Uh, but we'll, we'll wait. Oh, uh, when? Oh, it must be about three weeks ago, I think. I, 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 I met with I met with her because she came. With uh, my other daughters, we went to, to out together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I think uh, after the 28th, you'll be plane sailing uh, um, to do what you want on your own land. Okay. All right. Cheers. Bye. Right. Bye. Right. There you go. That's the chief, King Itaudo. So in the good news. So I think that wraps it up more or less now. Uh, the only one I've got to get in touch with is um, uh, John Martin from the Navy. They'll write back or ring me back. Uh, they want to see what, how the organization's going. So I just needed to uh, do this with Kingy to organize the event of the 28th of October for the public uh, watching. I'm here for the public of New Zealand. John Key has offended and he has defrauded the public of New Zealand. The courts, the police, the judges, the lawyers have defrauded the public of New Zealand. I want to make this open statement. When they arrested me in this house and took my shirt illegally, they broke the 1961 and 1951 New Zealand Crimes Act, many times over. And my barrister, unfortunately, was on the judge's side. To cut it short, they took a bunch of papers that Natalie Flower Drew Brown drew up and forged the statements of the witnesses on 77 Cook Street and brought them in here <coughs> and arrested me with them. The barrister was surprised. He's in the gun now. Shannon Withers from Vulcan Chambers, <coughs> you're in the gun for assisting in the land transaction fraud transfer of title of our land on 77 Cook Street. You covered up the fraud. You took that bunch of papers and the court threw them out. The police didn't drop the case. They dismissed the case. It's a big difference. The judge could not allow this in his court because of lack of evidence. I've got all of the evidence right over me here. This is all the evidence of a king. Okay? The coat of arms of Hanover and the coat of arms of Westminster and the coat of arms of King William IV monarchy and King William IV himself and the Maui 
title, statue, seal of our documents, standing in Queen Elizabeth II Great Court in London Museum. That's our title to the land. He's standing on his Ahu Whenua. He's come off East Island in 1868 on the ship of Admiralty, HMS Topaz. Okay? So they took that statue off there and took to England. On that year, America lost its sovereignty to Britain, England. Okay? That's just fitting this eight point star in Moai seal. Two seals, King William, Moai statue, Moai spirit, Law L O R E, my word against yours, in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. I make that statement quite clear that our authority <coughs> of trading around the world continues. It's a continuity of our own sovereignty. We discussed this at Matatu and Pumarai in Fakatane on the 8th of October 2016 this year, Saturday last week. The point made about sovereignty. We never ceded our own sovereignty. You can't give it away because it was here as being, I was here and saw your ship turn up on our land. That's what sovereignty means. I was here. I didn't see you before that. And everybody else that's come here and settled on this land came here from the Queen's side in John Key. Immigrant, immigration, immigration laws. We've got our own immigration laws through Westminster. This is a statement to the people of the world watching this video. On behalf of my chiefs of this country and the leading chiefs from Ngāpui, Kingi Tauroa, I just got off the phone to, Jim Wikutu from Matatu, and also Willie Peter. Those chiefs and also Ohepa Epiha has a great hand in bringing up the history as well for Ngāpui and this way. For well, those chiefs I'm here talking on their behalf that we are ready to trade again on a commercial global scale through this flag, through the Marae, Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, we're enforcing those laws of 1830 to 1837, King William IV, Acts of Parliament, Westminster, on these lands and everywhere in the world where we're going to, in 250 countries, we're advertising on our Facebook and our website, moaipowerhouse.com. In saying this long video, I want to thank all those who have contributed uh, to the documentation thus far amongst the incorporations the Confederation Chiefs present today from the past and to the Taumata on Titi Marae and other Marais in Napui and around the country, in particularly Hauraki, Arawa and Whakatoa here, um, uh, Ngāti Pro, Tainui and other tribes down the line, Ngāti Kahununu, um, and um, Tuhoi, uh, all those people who have been duped on that side with their treaty claims, settling for less. Those are contracts. Those are contracts that belong on the data side. We have our own contracts on this side with the power note, and my job here is creditor. With this hat, the sheriff, creditor in the King's Bench Court to seize property from those who have defrauded the public of New Zealand. I'm standing here today on behalf of the native and on behalf of the people of New Zealand who can understand what I'm saying and people for the world that matter from the world 
who understand what I'm saying about this flag being hidden out of public view, global view, for many years as just a token gesture. No, it's not. It is the most powerful flag in the world of commerce. King of the sea, king of the royal revenue that the Queen has accumulated will be seized back into the King's Bench Court forthwith from any fraud that has occurred you can say the whole lot has been defrauded of the people of the world including Obama and the Clinton administration this flag is the authority over your flag when it comes to Westminster Parliament it's legal now on the 15th of October of April 2016 in that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court and to the Waitangi National Trust I'm doing this job for the sake of the Marae itself and its commerce continuous nothing changes only the captain of the ship I'm here as the captain of the ship the same as Captain William Cornwallis Simon, Simon Street, Auckland, that was that namesake, Simon, at the Manukau heads, on the Manukau tribes, land, Puponga, okay, Puponga, there to Ututonga, up Waitangi, King Itaurua will hold a title to Ngati Kawa, Hapu. Atirahiri on the other side at Kororareka there to that authority as well. That's where it originated. This flag. I'm talking about flag commerce. I'm talking about where the money's made. Where the money has been made from the land resources. The people and the people in it. Trading. Illegally on this side and legally on this side. Legal, illegal. Okay, John Key, illegal. John Key, this one's for you. We now have a King's Bench Court inside the Auckland District Court. We can move into that court and take up one of the courtrooms as the King's Bench Court. There's nothing you can do about it because that's coming from me and those chiefs who I am there for. I'm here as Surrogate King William IV to speak on his behalf till King Ernest Augustus the inheritance King of England King of UK King of Hanover is in London still alive at 67 about and his son King Ernest uh, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus to take his place. I swear my oath of office, office to King Ernest Augustus V and his son Ernest Augustus Prince Regent. I swear my oath of office to the chiefs of the Confederation of Whakamininga of tribes of this country, Hapu. I swear my oath to King William IV who gave us this flag to head off the pirates to arrest the pirates and seize all their property and prize possessions back into the King's Bench Court and the people of the well the people of New Zealand Pacific Islands and the Hapu and the chiefs we are living together under this umbrella right now legalized on the 15th of, October of April 2016 in force we're going into that marae to enforce our laws of 1830 to 1837 to run our parliaments in partnership with the British Westminster Parliament so we're running in tandem with them Matt Taylor take note we are running our Maui, 
King William Party in London, in uh, Maui, King William Party here in New Zealand, on the same level, the same jurisdictions of 1832, 1837, ex of King William the Fourth jurisdictions, and Constitution 1835 Constitution. Okay, 1835 Constitution, 1852 Constitution UK, and our own Constitution of Tikal Maori. Tikanga Hapu, Maui, Law, L-O-R-E, of Maui Law. Maori, on the other hand, are still the native. On a sense, they have to make their minds up which side they're going on. That side with the Iwi, Maori, or this side with the Maui, Hapu, direct, King William, partnership. One or the other. Okay? So two contracts. You're stuck with the contract, you sign that contract, that's your contract. You're settled. This side, brand new. Brand new people. And so we've got a clean slate, a clean slate to trade directly with anybody in the world. The Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Company in UK, England is running its my Tidal Energy Project here on Lorenzoli Bank, East Cape, New Zealand and pending pending here and pending Dover Straits in England there and in Scotland Pentland Firth in there as well Denmark and other places in the world where we likely to go in 250 countries as well. America. So all those people in America who are going through a hard time with Clinton and Obama and Comey, the FBI, is the same, no different to the CIB here, fraudulent documents. Okay, so we're challenging them with this act of jurisdiction in our courts and this will override the American flag at the same time as every other Commonwealth country flag, this flag that created all those laws we're using right now. So that's all I want to say in this video. I'm hoping that it went to the end and I'm very happy to say historically that we are going to have a successful outcome in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Matt Taylor in England and Jackie Little Gordon and her family, my friends, Andy and Zara and Jeroni. We're looking good and I want to share my excitement with you. Our biggest supporters there, alongside Matt Taylor in England and Sue Young in um, Dover, Kent. Okay, so that's, uh, and Daryl Payne in uh, California as well has been supportive all the way through. So who knows, you could be crossing the pages before long there. Um, we have um, um, others there as well in, in the States who have um, been supporting us all the way. So we'll come to that part in time, but I have enough on my plate between here and Britain to sort that out first and then sort America out next. We'll have a big amount to say to Congress in uh, America, New York, about what's happening with the Admiralty side of commerce, banking, and the Rothschilds fraudulent pound note. Uh, for our confederation, my main topic for myself is the bank pound note and the Maui water money currency at 
you see on our sites on Facebook is real. With Jamie and I, Jamie is the eight point star, St. Patrick. She's preparing the Patrick surname of that title while you see her face on the power note. We have Matt Taylor's face on the power note as well as these Minwanos here on the power note. So those are just um, legacy of our own modified power note from an original King Tafeo Waikato Tainui power note given by the British government. <coughs> and so they gave this flag and their power note. We're wrapping the flag in a five pound note and using it to levy levy data instruments. I'll hold that authority to do that with this flag and the chiefs of this country. Right through the well. For that matter. To all the indigenous people of the world, I'm making this statement on behalf of all the indigenous countries, including the native People are having a hard time in America, Canada, um, that we will come along once we get ourselves sorted here with our native chiefs and our flag gets to the top of the mast. It will appear on every ship in every country in every parliament in the world from the King of England. Scotland is going out away from the British. England and Wales, and I saw that Wales was wanting to pull out as well. <clears throat> Before I get there, it'll be us, Maui and the Pacific Island people, and King William as the missing link, the missing spirit, and the missing part of the contract deal we have with you. The original British. The Irish took off, the Scottish are taking off, leaving home and leaves England and Wales and Maui native of Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands. Okay, so that'll make up the gap and the difference in our contract, 182 years of contract of their flag to Britain, UK, England, landlords of England shall continue in a path of continuity of sovereignty of ourselves to share in our contract and I'm expecting the Navy to turn up to the celebrations of the 28th of October 2016 to honour recovering all the debts owed on that side and the Navy in Britain to recover all the debts that I'm writing up against fraudsters including Hillary Clinton's money missing. Everybody in the Commonwealth, this is a Commonwealth flag of the world, the highest authority in the world, the crown jewels, is wrapped up in this flag in a five pound note. Inside Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. Hidden, no longer hidden. The Queen created her Maori people the Maori Iwi tribe and ran away from home and left them queenless. The king steps in and fills the void that the queen left and went into the e European Union Parliament with her Germans and left the hole for the native Maori to turn up. Here's somebody doing. Hello, John here. From oh, for Peter Peroni. Oh, what's your name again? Carol. Carol. Oh, I don't know. Huh? Yes. Oh, okay, that's all right, that's fine. But but I just wanted him to let him know that what we're doing at the Marae is historic. He, he doesn't have to be there because we have got the Marae, just let him know we have got the Marae now.
for to go and use for the 182 year celebration at the, the Waitangi Marae itself and the Navy, I'm just waiting back on the Navy to turn up, let them know that I've got, I've been talking to the Navy this morning so they're going to um, uh, call me back on who's going and uh, to make a colourful historic occasion of the day um, between us and Britain, the, the flag issue. Okay, um, uh, is there anybody else uh, from New Zealand first that might be likely to come, like uh, Ron Mark, or if you can alert them? Ron, Ron, yes, yeah, or some, or anybody there that that would come and fit fit the political side of New Zealand first. Um, it's it, it's it's the Marae Committee itself that um, should know and have part of of the occasion to Britain, um, and the Navy will will, will turn up because. Um, it looks like they, they will turn up to fit their part because they're obligated to be there to put the flag up and all the rest of the ceremony. Um, to, um, it's been a long time since it, it got so far. We had a big hui in uh, Matatua down in Whakatane on Saturday, so all of the hapus are coming up. And I've got another meeting in Otau Mara in Hokianga next week. So I'm spearheading all of the... Uh, commercial stuff um, and um, that part to make them all come together to make make things work for themselves on their lands and everything else. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, just, just let them know that uh, the Titi Marae is open the 26th, the 27th and the 28th. So there will be a big congregation of people on, the, on those days for this occasion. But it's, it's 26th, 27th, 28th. I've been talking to King Itoru, the chief uh, there. And so the Marae is open for this occasion. And, um, but for the Navy to be on the 28th, it's 5 early in the morning. Uh, that we, we're having, because the, 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 the marae is open for public later on, uh, that we put everything early in the morning. We always have our, our flag raising at five in the morning on Titi Marae, but this, this, is, this is a one-off um, historic part on the Waitangi Marae itself to tie up the history in the, in the museum. Okay? I'm, I'm the organiser of all of that anyway. Okay? Yeah, it is. Thank you. All right. Uh, thanks for ringing. Bye. There. That's Peter Peroni's National Trust office, Carol S. Bagar. Sounds in Indian. Uh, anyway, she was good enough to call me back. And that's good. That's just about completed everything except just now the Navy. The Navy uh, to uh, call me back and um, let me know who's coming. So thank you very much everyone to watch this video and we'll see you again and um, this is me saying goodbye, good, good day, have a nice day and I will too. Bye.